okay we have assigned multiple permission to a specific role and now the time is to assign that role to a specific user right and as you know that we have added that we are finding a specific user i'm going to cut this out from here and paste it out here right so we are finding the second user and i want to assign uh, that role to about user right so how i can do this so it's also the simple so here you can see this there is a user object and you can say that assign role right assign role and assign role of what i want to assign the above role which i have search of writer right and after that it will return the assigned so now just to get saved and if i go here and let me first open the database tables a model has roles so this table is responsible for holding the users and our roles right and it will also store our model type right if we are using the user model so it will return the app model app slash model slash user so here i'm going to execute this out refresh and you can see this it's returning the assigned a refresh and yes role id is one here and model is user and then the our model id is two so it means that i told you that you can consider this model id as a user id so our user id is two and our two user belongs to this rule one so it means that our user two have one role and one role have three permissions so our user have three types of permissions right so here you can learn more that how you can get all of the permissions of specific user right so this is a way how you can get the directly permissions and get all permission for user either directly or from roles from both so in this way you can get all of the permissions from a user right so let's say we have a user right so in this case we assigned that to to a role we assigned that to role and here i'm going to uh, basically add a newer line i'm going to check the role permissions check the user permission permissions through role okay good so i'm going to paste this stuff here okay uh, so first uh, we need the user right so in this case we have uh, this user 2 right so i'm going to write this so uh, user find to above line right and i'm going to call this user and uh, get its all of the permissions using get all permission method so it will return all of the permissions of that user right so here i'm going to store this into the variables permissions and i'm going to dd those permissions here permissions perfect if i go here and let's get refresh and you can see this this rule has three permissions write articles okay edit article and third one is show article okay this one show article right so in this way we can get all of the permission of that user and you can explore more about this that to uh, get the name of user role here you can uh, get your user role like uh, in somewhere you want to check that uh, role that what's the user role so you can check that out uh, by using let me comment this out here and you can copy this out get role get role so let me comment this out so it will return the user roles okay at that time user have only one role refresh you can see this user contain a writer role right so this is a way how you can deal with the roles permissions and then assign those uh, role to a user right you can assign you can open your user without the role something like this 
you can also play around with the multiple methods and the good thing is that all are the behaving as the as a laravel ish way right so we can simulate the things that oh, it's very similar to the laravel here you can check that user has permission right if you want to check that user have specific permission so you can apply some checks here so let's say uh, user has permissions so somewhere you want to apply any check so you can check this so if user has permission and what kind of permission you want to check that to uh, edit article or something like this show articles articles something like this so it will return the yes okay otherwise return the no okay so let me double check that uh, syntax from the documentation okay it has any permission you can pass uh, multiple permissions has permission to article okay now just go here let's get refresh and you can see this it's returning the yes it means that this user has permission of show article if i made a typo mistake here it will return the no and you can see this there's no permission so it's unable to find that permission okay that's good and if i go here and set that user here user one right we don't have this permission so let's get refresh and you can see this it's returning the no right so in this way you can check that user has permission or not or you can also check the multiple permissions something like this user has permissions and let me pass this out here user has edit article show article and then write article user have these all of the permissions right so this two user have all of the permissions so let's go get refresh and you can see this it's returning the yes so if i say here publish article refresh so it's still returning yes why because we are checking here has any permission then we are assigning that out we are returning the true okay has all permission uh, if user has all of the permission array right so in this case it will return the false because user don't have published article permission refresh and yes you can see this it's running the no perfect you can similarly you can also check the permissions and uh, whenever you are using the your blades so you can use um, can directive right or you can use this syntax to check that this user has permissions right this one is a very shorter way if I comment this out and go here and say if user can okay can edit articles right so then return yes okay and uh, similarly return no if there is uh, nothing so this permission is not assigned to that user edit article let's get refresh and you can see this it's returning the yes so similarly you can use this so can directive here in your blade and check that this user has permissions but i think this should be only for the login user but uh, if you want to check that in the blade so you can follow the similar syntax something like this if uh, a user user can or user has permission so you can apply the rules on that right so this is the way how you can deal with this party uh, it's uh, very popular and it's very useful right so it's have a lot of method you can check out more from this documentation as exact rule you can check something like this has uh, give permission to has permission of edit article sync permission and we already covered those things right has direct permission if we assign user to direct directly assign the permission to a user perfect so these are the things which are very useful so i covered all of them and if you think something is unclear so you can comment uh, this uh, in the below the video so i'll shoot more videos on that so thank you so much guys for watching the videos and if you think that this uh, 
series added some values into your life make sure to subscribe button and share your feedback and also suggest me that how i can uh, teach you more about the laravel or its uh, other related things i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye